I never wanted this to be about me. I never wanted to be in the spotlight. But when I realized we no longer had a voice in our government and that I had the power to help change that, I knew I had to step in and fight for our future and our present. I'm the mother of four children who mean everything to me, a military mom and military wife. As a young single mother, I struggled to feed three children while going back to college and living on student loans. Then, just months ago, I hugged my suddenly grown son before his first deployment to Iraq. I'm also a daughter. At nine years old, I lived through my dad's struggle with opioid addiction and his suicide with a gun that someone in his condition never should have been able to buy. I've been through divorce, bankruptcy, and foreclosure. I persevered and made it through. This past year, I've knocked on your doors and heard your stories, and in each one, I've heard my own. In my work as a corrections officer and director of an anti-recidivism program, and in my 30 years of organizing and activism, I've seen up close what's happening in America, what's happening in coastal Georgia, and what needs to happen to fix it. We found ourselves in this mess, both locally and nationally, because our political leaders protect the profits of large corporations over the needs of people. These multi-millionaires, like my opponent, are deciding policies that directly affect our lives, like affordable health care, housing, and a living wage. They're out of touch with our reality because they haven't experienced it, and they aren't listening. Now is the time for us to join together and enact real solutions that will benefit everyone. We can make sure everyone earns a living wage and that no child grows up in poverty. We can provide a safe and productive learning environment for children and teachers. We can provide health care as a human right. And we can and should treat all people with equal respect and dignity. I'm Lisa Ring, and I'm fighting for the people of Georgia's first district.